All right, so for this, we are looking at the Photo Haiku project. So the first thing that we're going to do, we've already taken, gone out, interpreted the haiku, moved everything over to the local, uh, saved the CR2s as JPEGs after editing. Now we're ready to jump right into the project. So we're going to open Photoshop, and when we open Photoshop, we're going to create a new project. It might say on the left over here, when you open it, create new. But I just went to file new. Either way works. We're going to go to print, league, uh, letter, I'm sorry, letter, and landscape view orientation right here. Gives us the width is 11 inches, height is 8.5, resolution is 300, and our color mode for printing, it's CMYK, hit create. Should look like this. Once we have that, we're going to bring our picture in, file, place embedded, and we're going to find that picture. You're going to go to the local and find your picture. I'm just going to take one from the climate march. So you're going to find your JPEG image, put it in. And I want you to fill the screen with it. So you take from the corner and drag, left click and drag, fill up that screen, place it where you want it, and then hit return. That's going to, to set it there. The next thing I want you to do is go to Google Chrome and go to dafont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T.com. What we're actually going to do is we're going to download a custom font. You can do a whole bunch of, you can search it, you can look it up based on categories. Uh, I'm, I like this one right here, Youth Power. I'm going to download that. And what happens is you get a zip file that goes to the downloads folder. Once you get that zip file and it's downloaded, you're going to double click it. It's going to give you a folder, or it's going to give you a TT or OTF file. I'm going to double click the TT F file and OTF file. I'm going to install font. It might give you this error, it says there might be problems down the line, uh, but we're going to check off that it, it's okay. We're going to select all those fonts and hit install checked. So I just installed Youth Power as a font. I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to use my text tool to create a box that is the size of the picture. I'm left clicking and dragging. And it's going to give you some text right here. It might be big, it might be small. But what we're going to do is just go to 30 point for a second and then erase all that stuff that's in there. And now we have our haiku. So, climate change is real. We should love our world a lot. youth need to rise up. So we have our haiku and up here is all the controls for the text. So instead of this font, I'm going to click this button, go down and now find youth power. I can find that power and now I have the ability to uh, change a couple of things first thing I'm going to do is if I left click on the, t the text icon and drag to the left and right I can make the the haiku bigger or smaller it's kind of glitching out a little bit but that's good I'm going to bring this down get it kind of in the center right here um, but it's a little hard to read right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on that layer, 
go to blending options, and now I have a whole bunch of layer styles that I can do. I can add a drop shadow, for instance, that makes it stick stick out a little bit. I could do a color overlay, and if I hit the plus button, I can go in here and change the color of that. So I'm going to bring that to a blue. I can do a whole bunch of different things. I can do an inner shadow, outer shadow, and get all that. Uh, you can fool around with these to see what your liking is. Um, after I have that, I've added layers onto, I've added some just different effects onto that text. I can also go over here, select the this layer, the photo layer, and go to image adjustments. And here I have a whole bunch of different things that I can do. Um, brightness and contrast is one. I can bring the this down to make that a little bit more contrasty. Just bring it down so I can read that a little bit more. After you get all that set, you're going to go to File and Save As. You're going to save it in your project files as a, photo uh, as a PSD, as a Photoshop format. That's going to be Photo Haiku and then your name in parentheses, go save. Once you do that, you're going to go file save as again. And you're going to save it as a JPEG in the edits format JPEG. Make sure to change the format JPEG, hit save, quality 12. And then after that, you're going to uh, move it to the NAS. And you're done.